Hello, Builders Club. Thank you so much for watching and joining in on this meeting today. I hope that you and your fellow Builders Club students are having a great day and an awesome meeting. My name is Michelle Studi Campbell, and I'm the Executive Director of our Kiwanis Youth Programs, and that includes Builders Club. We are thrilled that you are meeting today and gonna join us for this conversation. We have three fantastic guests with us. We have Caroline Bushnell, she is the Vice President of Key Club International, Glory Kalu, a Key Club International trustee, and we have with us Burton Patterson, who is part of the Kiwanis family. He is one of our favorite presenters and facilitators. And today, we're gonna to talk about bullying and kindness. October is Bullying Prevention Month, and we are gonna have a conversation about this critically important topic. So, but before we get too far down this path, let's have some introductions. Hey, everybody. My name is Caroline. I'm the Key Club International Vice President. Um, I'm from a small town in Colorado. I'm a senior in high school this year, and I was a Builders Club member. So it's great to see all of you. Hopefully, I'll meet you all in person eventually, um, but it's great to be here today. Hi everyone, my name is Glory Kalu. I also used to be a Builders Club at Bloomfield Middle School in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Um, I am very excited to be here today and to talk to you guys, and I do hope I can connect with you all at some point in the future. Hi everyone, I'm Burton Patterson. Thank you so much for having me. Um, unfortunately, I was not a part of Builders Club or Kiwanis, but I truly enjoy all the work that I've done with Kiwanis and I love you all like family. Um, inspired to be here among some great leaders and uh, very honored to be a part of this conversation. So thank you for having me. Okay, so let's get going with the questions. All right, so Caroline and Glory, I want you to think back to your time in middle school and being part of Builders Club. If you could hop in your time machines and travel back in time, what would you do to help spread kindness and to help put a stop to bullying? Yeah, um, something that many of you have probably started to notice is that oftentimes bullying is a lot more subtle than people make it out to be. Um, the biggest thing I can say, what I wish I had done in middle school was don't let those little things go under the rug. Um, I'm sure you've all received those little comments, those little jabs, even on social media or online. Um, and it hurts, even, even if they are subtle and even if they are small. So stand up when you hear those and don't just let them get away with that. Yeah, and um, definitely what I would say is take bullying seriously. Sometimes we overlook it and just think it, take it as a joke, basically. But bullying is serious and it does affect some people's mental health. So when you do see bad things happening, when you do see something wrong, speak up. Tell the principal, tell anyone, tell an advisor, and make sure you're actually acting on it. Thank you. All right, Burton, now it's your turn for a question. You train students and young adults about healthy relationships and making good choices on a daily basis. Learning how to be an upstander in unsafe situations is something that we could start to learn about a little bit earlier than when we get to college or high school. Any early advice and guidance to share with our Builders Club students on their interactions with their friends? That's a really great question. Um, and I think Caroline and Glory both spoke very well to this point too. Um, bullying is a very, very serious situation. It's something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I taught a bullying prevention program for several years here in Indianapolis. Um, and I saw so many great things happen when people chose to step up and be upstanders. Um, and one of the things that I often talk about is empathy and kindness and how important those are. I think in many situations, it can be easier for us to be upstanders if we try to understand where someone is coming from. So putting ourselves in their shoes. Um, and if we wouldn't want to be treated a certain way, then we should never treat others or allow others to be treated that way as well. Um, and I often come back to something that many of us learn um, as we are very young is the golden rule and it's treating others the way that we want to be treated. And I think if on a very, a very small scale, if we all go throughout our lives with, with the golden rule in the back of our minds, I think we'll have not only a safer uh, place to live in, but one where people are treated with empathy and kindness and respect. Um, and we wouldn't have as much um, hatred going on throughout the world as we do now. 
Excellent. All right, so that wraps up our short segment. We wanna thank so much for Caroline, Glory, and Burton for taking time out of your busy schedules to have this conversation with us today. Um, to our students, parents, and advisors, thank you. Thank you for logging on and being part of this meeting today. Um, we have so many fun meeting kits coming up in November and December. Uh, we encourage all of you to keep learning, leading, and serving. Stay safe and stay kind, Builders Club. Thanks everyone.